What is going on, everybody, on this beautiful Saturday? Chart looking good. Adam Sheldon, the captain, the host of the Pyro Twitter Space AMA. And we also going to do a $100 worth Pyro giveaway with the best question with an exclusive AMA. We're going to start here in about a minute or so. So we're just getting connected. So let's go. Hope everybody's doing well. What's up? What's up, everybody? Yes, yes. Today is a good day. Pyro is rocking the charts. We got Crypto Wall Street coming in. We also have other speakers. I'm sure it's going to want to voice their opinion. But today is going to be educational entertainment. And we're going to break down Pyro. Pyro style. What's going on, Crypto Wall Street? This is Adam Shelton. The captain's here. How's it going, Adam? Great to hear you. Looks like we've got a good turnout for the AMA. So hello, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I kind of started a couple of minutes where people can come in, get connected, and get excited. Fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, we had a we had a great buy this evening. I'm sure you all saw. But there was someone that, <laughs> um, you know, slapped $20,000 on the pyro chart at what a lot of people might consider to be the all-time high. So that, you know, that's really promising. When you see, you know, buyers coming in quite late into the game and are throwing you know five figures at the chart you know non-stop i think when i checked that buyer i think he's already accumulated you know he's already spent 28 ethereum which is a hell of it's a lot of money you know you're talking well over sixty thousand dollars in pyro that he's accumulating you know, he's just accumulating he's a someone that came in quite late and is just accumulating pyro which is great it shows confidence in the project right when you've got whales coming in to projects at a very late stage, not well, you know, 5 million market cap and still accumulating pyro. For me, it's a fantastic sign um, in terms of what's to come for the future for the project. Yeah, absolutely. When I saw that, I wasn't really surprised. I'm like, you know what? It's going to be a big buy happening. And I think people are starting to figure out what pyro is all about but there's people on the fence want to know what this pyro is all about as well someone is thinking should they get in should they get out um can we start from the beginning about pyro like why was this created and then why people should consider adding pyro to the portfolio i mean I, I mean when i when i first discovered this token um having been in this space for two years um you know i, I noticed it was special um, a lot of contracts, you know, I was an early bonfire investor. A lot of projects have tried uh, have tried to create contracts that have a true burn mechanism and have failed miserably. Um, so for me, Pyro was the one that I saw that has actually achieved it, um, you know, with success. Because you check the total supply on Etherscan, you see that tokens are disappearing from the total supply. And then they wowed me even more. When I checked their Telegram and I saw their burn box, you know, every buy and sell transaction, right. there is a an action happening. There's something happening in the Telegram. When there's a buy, you know, there's the 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 the, the Bobby buy bot turns up, and then you also get a burn. There's a uh, an automated burn bot that comes in and shows how much of the total supply has been burnt, and this is a true burn. So it's actually showing how many tokens have been removed from the total circular, you know, total supply. There were a million tokens at the start. We're, we're now at something like 692,000 pyro. So, you know, it's amazing. You can almost track the day-to-day -day progress of the token. You know, we, I remember when we were at, we at 800,000 pyro and, you know, already I'm shocked we're at 692,000 pyro. Um, so the, 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 the number of pyro tokens that are available is diminishing at an astonishing rate. I'm looking at it and just shocked right. every day. I look at every it, day. it's just going down. You know, very soon we'll probably be at 500,000 pyro. And the other thing that shocked me as an investor is the cost basis per token. So I've been, I've got a little table and I, you know, it's a shame I can't share my screen, but I've been looking at how much it costs to buy a thousand pyro. And it's right. just, it's, it's, it's getting more. I remember at launch, a thousand pyro was something like, you know, you know, it was next to nothing. It was peanuts. And, you know, we had a point where you could get a thousand pyro for an ETH. Whereas now, if you wanted to buy a thousand pyro, you know, you're going to have to spend at least five Ethereum. It's expensive. Um, you know, the last buyer that spent 10 Ethereum, he only got 2000 pyro. So there's this exponential rise in the cost of each pyro token. And even if we trade sideways, the cost basis per pyro is constantly going up. So there's this aggressive burn going on, removing tokens from the supply. 
and you know each pyro is really precious and i don't think a lot of people understand that but they will in good time i keep saying that you know the fact mm-hmm. that the last buyer you know he spent twenty thousand dollars and and he only got it's a great deal right now he only it got is two thousand pyro right but there was mm-hmm. a time if, you know literally a few days ago when you could have got two thousand pyro for half an ETH or an ETH. and now that same buyer has to spend 10 ethereum you know 10 times the amount to get so I think the thing that the event that I'm looking forward to is the flippening or when one one pyro is equal to one ETH and it will come. It will definitely come before Christmas um, because that's where we're headed. Absolutely. And it's set up to do that as well, just because of the burn mechanism, the ecosystem tokens and shout out to Yarn World, man. Shout out to Yarn World, man, because he... I found out from him doing his videos and then like Yarn World has been producing content OG on the crypto space. So shout out to Yarn World, everybody. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably heard about it from him. So shout out to Yarn World and the community of Pyro. Yes, I mean, Yarn's done a great job. I'm not going to, you know, he, he's been a, a supporter. He, he can see that the contract is novel. I mean, not, there's nothing like it at the moment. No. I mean, that's the other thing I should mention. There is no coin that has this, you know, deflation hyper deflationary mechanism where every buy and sell is removing tokens um six percent on every buy and sell is disappearing um and it's insane you know know, every buy and sell tokens are gone forever from the pool which means it's hyper deflationary and you can just hold your pyro you could buy 100 and hold it and in two weeks time it will be worth a lot more than when you bought it and i can guarantee that um you know a thousand pyro right now is about four and a half ethereum literally four or five days ago you could have got a thousand pyro for one ethereum whereas now you're spending close to five ethereum for a thousand pyro so the cost unit per pyro is just going to continue to go up so i I think it's a sleeping giant at the moment i think people are waking up to it i think the guy that that is you know that, that spent 10 ethereum today 28 ethereum in total um you know that's that's how much how much is that in money he spent fifty-five thousand dollars in pyro he's just accumulating and he may not stop he may continue yeah. buying more pyro and i don't, I don't think him. he'll stop I i'm not he'll stop. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't blame him if he continues to buy more pyro because right. this is the sort of coin that is going to shock the space um when the supply shock happens um which you know you know it's going to happen at some point i've been some very similar coins where the total buy is a limited pool and it's constantly shrinking and then you get this event called the supply shock where the, you know the, the cost to get one pyro is so much that the price has no choice but to start flying um and 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 that's when the real fomo will will, will commence at the moment we've got about twenty six thousand pyro in the pool um you know if you try to buy all of it it'll be you know astronomical figure but Absolutely. it is cheap right now i'm not going to lie to you you know getting one thousand pyro would be a great deal um and i'm not just saying that to to pump my own bags i genuinely mean that ten thousand pyro right now is a steal at 70 ethereum um, because that won't last for too long, uh, especially as the number of holders increases and the available supply of pyro removed. And the, the amazing thing is with other tokens, where there is a finite amount of tokens, when you buy and sell, the tokens just go back into the pool. It's not removed, right? So say I'm in a token, like um, a token that does not have a burn mechanism in their contract. And it only there's, there's a million tokens, but I'm buying, say I'm holding a million. I mean, say I'm holding 100,000 and I sell 50,000 and some taxes are taken away oh. um you know the tokens don't really disappear the tokens still exist they're still part of the to- you know circulation or pyro is special because every time i buy and sell a percentage is disappearing is gone forever it will never come back which means we're gonna you know we're gonna diverge to effectively you know a point where whatever forever for as long as pyro exists on the blockchain the number of tokens will always continue to decrease so that's quite interesting right Right. which means the available liquidity will will just be spread amongst the remaining tokens so you get this phenomena called the the price squeeze uh you know the the price squeeze will happen and 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 it's great because the burn and the other thing is it's fully automated which means the dev doesn't have to do anything the contract is renounced so pyro will exist forever now it will exist on the blockchain forever burning six percent of pyro on every buy and sell and that's a true burn it's not the traditional fake burn where tokens are got you know going to the dead wallet and there is a distinction between the two there is a distinction in that when a token goes into the dead wallet it's still part of circulation it still exists but with a true burn 
it's gone forever. You don't see it. You, you can't even when you check on EtherScan, those tokens are gone. They're not. You, they're not. You, you cannot physically see them on the front page of EtherScan. So that's where Pyro differs in that we have a true burn mechanism. We also have ecosystem coins performing a so to speak fake burn where tokens are going to the fake dead wallet. That's fine. It's just pushing the price up. But what I think what makes Pyro stand out is this true burn mechanism, um, which is really really special. Um, you know, already we've gone down from a million tokens down to 600,000 tokens. You know, that's almost, you know, 692. That's well over 30% of the total supply that has been burned forever. forever. Um, and that's going to continue as time goes on. You know, we'll get to 40% total supply burnt, 50% total supply burnt, maybe even, you know, 60% of total supply gone forever from the blockchain. And that all that's going to do is just keep squeezing the price. Mm-hmm. Squeezing it. Which is great for holders. If you're a holder, it's fantastic. Congratulations. It's just passive income. Yeah, you're going to make it. You really are. And also, I like the fact that it's a two-year locked liquidity, but then they want to extend it for, like, forever. (laughs) So that's pretty pretty cool here. Yeah, so, you know, I had a chat. The the, the intention was always actually to lock it for 600 years um, from the get-go. But the team decided that actually it would be better. It would be better... You know, it's a news event, therefore, it's a noteworthy news event, right? So, it's something they can market. Um, the 600 year liquidity lock, it's very bullish news. Um, so, that will be tied with another event. So, the idea is once we hit, say, 10 million market cap, the lock will be extended to 600 years, um, you know, 600 years or more. Um, the idea just to bring, you know, to give the, the two year, for me personally, a two-year liquidity lock is extremely bullish. Um, extremely bullish, a two-year lock. The fact that it's going to be extended to 600 years is just crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. That is crazy. And, That's and crazy. That's the forever. Other, the, <laughs> the, the other amazing thing that really attracted me to Pyro, me personally as, as an investor, is is the fact that there is no dev wallet, right? There's no marketing wallet per se. The de- developer is not getting rich off of everyone else's backs is it is is a it is a true community coin in that sense in that in that regard you know so far the fact that we were at six million market cap with just community marketing just the community promoting pyro it's a true Mm. community coin Um, you know we've got some great influences on board like yon and yourself fantastic but you guys have jumped on board organically um it's not like we've been giving you backhanders it's been organic and you guys you can see that it's something special that sets us apart i think from a lot of tokens that are spending 10 times more than us and are not getting the same results that's a good point it's very organically community driven and also by looking in the community a lot of people want to ask questions i'm sure the hundred dollar worth of pyro giveaway to the best questions should we start the questioning right now i think that's a great idea lda yeah, LDA, go ahead. How you guys doing, bro? Uh, I have a question. Uh, is the dev going to be coming? Uh, no, the dev has hired me to be the official spokesman for the project. So, you know, ownership is renounced. So, you know, I would say that the, the, the code exists. It's a bit like Bitcoin. It can no longer be modified, changed or um, tampered with or taxes raised or lowered. Um, so on that basis, I would say that his presence... As long as you know, I, I've been. Well, I'm he, he, I'm in communication with him alongside some of the other team members, some of the whales. So um, it'll be great, fantastic if the dev could be here tonight. But unfortunately, he's working on the release of the big coin that's coming out um, in relation to the ecosystem um, that's coming out. So he's really busy with testing and all sorts of other things. So you know, I'm here. I've got all the the relevant information. Um, so feel free to ask me any questions and, um, you know, I should be able to answer most of them, if I'm honest. I've got a, um, uh, a question if I, if I can speak. So, yeah, go ahead. Hey, how's it going, everyone? How are you? Good, good. Um, yep. so I see that Pyro is doing a ton of different partnerships, which is, which is great for the ecosystem, right? That, I mean brings in more eyes that's what it's about in crypto especially when you don't have a marketing wallet right so my question was and at the same time it is it is a a soft shell but what is the partnership between 
Pyro and Kishu Burner. So it's well, Kishu Burner and Pyro has um, a relationship at the moment. So it's a bit like you know, lo- lots of companies will. Kishu Burner is a different token. They've approached us and there are discussions going on at the moment to delay some of the contracts. And we're also talking to Shibnobi. We're also talking to much bigger coins. Um, like even I'm not even going to lie. We're talking going to lie. We're talking to Sheep. We're talking to Clifford. We're talking to Vault. We're talking to huge coins. Um, and, you know, they're all very interested in what Pyro is doing. Um, and so discussions are being had. I mean, I can't reveal anything more than that in that, you know, there's a lot of background discussions going on with these massive coins. Um, yeah. So, I, you know, for me I to think start it's actually saying... Public. That, because sometimes, sometimes what happens is that if... if if, if I reveal too much too soon, it could have the deals yeah. that are going on. So, you know, we are all I can say is we are talking to Sheep, could, we are talking to I Clifford, you... we are talking to Vault, we are talking to massive coins, billion dollar yeah. cap coins at the moment. Could I tell you what it is about? Oh, because it is actually public, it's it's there. It's so the question, the answer to my question would be that it's actually building the our NFTs. Pyro is gonna be able to buy our NFTs which is going to hold up your guys' supply even more. So the whole concept around um, Pyro and Kishiburno is to, to take the supply away, right? Yes, yes, so that's correct. If you buy our NFTs once they're released in about 10 days, you'll, have, um, you'll get income from our platform, which is also tying up your guys' Um, supply just as much as it's tying up our supply so it's quite a quite a unique um, sort of way to, to to merge I guess and and to, to form a partnership it's something that um, I guess a lot of your other partnerships so far have just been sort of tokens that are launching under your umbrella and and burning your supply um, but I think I think our partnership has got a lot more to come from what I what I've been sort of told. Yes, I mean definitely. What's what's also what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a partnership feature on the website that's being developed, which is why I don't want to really say too much too soon. Uh, okay. But we are going to have a section on the website that says partnerships, and it's going to detail exactly what the partnerships are, what the arrangements are, especially with Kishu, you know, Kishu, Kishi Berno, and with respect to NFTs. So that all that information is being developed. Of course, it takes time to add all the links and um, you know detail up the exact details of the relationship but that is being worked on the website so, yeah it's, um, it's it, hard that, to that education keep up <laughs> yeah it's the, and also you know you want to time um you know we want to release formal communications um and not too soon so at, you know at the right moment pyro will announce any partnerships form, form partnerships etc i think we have mentioned it pinned it in the telegram um that there is a ship there but the de- details the specifics a section on the website will be um, developed to cater to every coin that we are partnering with um, so awesome. people can, you know so people can jump on the website and then they can see the relationship with um, Kishi Berno and any other large cap coins that we have a relationship um, including vault who's you know going to be listing us on their um, their vaulty swap um, exchange so you know that's just that's an example fact. of one yeah. coin but but of course there are many coins that are showing interest in pyro and wanting to use the burn bot um, another coin is Shibnobi that showed ex- interest in using the, the Pyro Burn bot. Uh, but of course, you know, I'm already revealing too much information. But um, I think what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> a, lot, a lot of information will come out in the coming weeks with respect to partnerships. you got to shoot your shots when you're, when you're ready to shoot them, eh? I get it. I totally yes. understand. Yes, it's all about releasing information at the right times. Um, so yeah, you know sure. the, the, the 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 partnerships, you know the deed, the, the the specifics of the partnerships and the information relating to them. It will all be released at the correct times. Um, and so we'll have you know formal announcements on Twitter. Um, the website, the website partnership section will be updated with all the relevant partnership information. And you know there'll be a press release maybe to you know to follow it, especially if it's with a large cap coin. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, cool. likes you know, you know the billion dollar cap coins. If there's a, a pyro, you know, coin X partnership, if it's Sheep or I don't know Clifford. You know, these are big coins, so there'll be a press release. Hopefully, you know, following it, we'll make sure we get the right well, coverage. You. Yeah. 
thank you, Wall Street. I appreciate that. You um, definitely, you definitely know your stuff about this coin, and I, I've been in a few of your VCs and listened. And um, you're a great speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every coin needs a good speaker. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not just, um, you know, just talking the talk. I mean, I'm, there's a lot going on in the background. And, you know, sometimes when a team, when a coin is so young and, you know, you're, you're talking to massive billion dollar cap coins and so much is going on in the background, um, you know, it, sometimes growing too fast, we're sort of trying to rein things back a bit, um, the release of information. But, you know, the fact that these billion dollar cap coins are interested in pyro speaks a lot, I think, especially at this early stage for a coin that is just, you know, two to three weeks old. Agreed. Totally it's, agree. It's very promising. And thank you for the question. Very, very thorough. Um, Jude, can you go next? Jude, you can unmute your mic and go ahead. I see your hand is raising, Jude. Maybe we go to DeFi. DeFi, go ahead, sir. Can y'all hear me? Uh huh. Okay, so since there will be um, sex listings in the future. I seen a uh, Pyro Twitter uh, tweet that earlier. My question is, since the uh, pl- uh, supply that's remaining is in Uniswap, wouldn't they have to? basically get that from Uniswap to be able to provide liquidity for those uh, big exchanges? Um, so, yeah. So, a few of the core team members already have um, between 5 to 10% of Pyro set aside. Um, so, some of the core team members that are leading it already have tokens set aside for CX listings. So, um, you know, we, we, we sort of early on when the market cap was very low, we already accumulated some tokens ready for CX listings. Um, so, the team has planned that in advance. Um, so we do have tokens set aside for that. So um, you're right. We do need to have between 5% typically of tokens. You know, it might be 10,000 pyro tokens, but that allocation is sorted. We have that in place. Um, the other thing I should mention is that we will not pursue CX listings until after we've hit the correct market caps. So that's 10 million and above. Um, so that's that's the plan. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the appreciate that D five with that uh, question, and uh, it seems like people are asking about this whole pyro. Think about it though. I feel like pyro is one of those projects is really going to surprise people because of the whole ecosystem of it and the planning of it. I mean, I just feel like people are really don't really understand. I, I mean, I, I think the tokenomics, even without, even had had we not even pursued partnerships, and um, right. if I'm honest with you, I mean, I'm a developer myself, so I write smart contracts, and I think even, you know, a good example is Bonfire. They were hyper deflationary, but they had a fake burn wallet, right? And they did amazing. Um, you know, they hit hundreds of millions in market cap, you know, made a lot of people a lot of money, including myself. I know the space. So any, you know, the Bonfire is very similar, fast burning coin. They didn't really develop much, right? By way of ecosystem, I think they had an app, which was really crappy at the end of it. That's all they did. They just developed an app, you know, listed in a couple of places, and that's about it. But I wouldn't say they did anything revolutionary, but they were hyper deflationary and they did amazing, you know, numbers in terms of growth and holders. And, you know, the fact that their burn mechanism wasn't even a true burn, yet they did so well, for me, speaks volumes because the fact, you know, they, okay, they were, their, their, their selling point was we're hyper deflationary. And that sold, you know, it sold itself and it did amazing. It did a fantastic, you know, they had a massive rally, made a lot of people. This was just, I think, just before or after Safe Moon, but it made a lot of people a lot of money. And, you know, people loved it. It was new, it was novel. And we've gone, you know, I would say Pyro has done something even better. We have a true bar hyper deflation every right. point where the tokens are actually disappearing forever. Gonna, you know, step above what Bonfire has done. Um, and I think even with just that, Without CX listings, without the utility in the ecosystem, I would put Pyro at you know minimum hundred million market cap because of its you, you know new tokenomics. It's fresh, it's novel, innovative. Um, it, it's new. I haven't seen it anywhere, uh, especially in the RC twenty space. So on that basis alone, I think it will do well. It's not even gone ahead and developed 
all the stuff about eco coins, you know, doing the buybacks. I think on its own, it's, it's a selling. It sells itself because, we, you know, every buy and sell has a positive action. Every time someone sells, they are burning a percentage of the supply. They are effectively helping holders. So whenever a whale is exiting, he's burning down 6% of his entire bag forever, which means yeah. the number of tokens has gone down, which means the next buyer that's coming in, he's also burning 6% meaning the holders are benefiting fundamentally. So if you're, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of coin that is perfect for a holder um, because as a holder, you're coming in. So you, even now, say you come in, you're buying X number of tokens, knowing full well the pool is diminishing. The number of tokens in circulation is constantly diminishing, which means you're, you're never going to be able to get a better deal a month from now impossible because the 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 num you know every day there's volume right on the coin which means the number of tokens being sold is always less so if you buy now it will be impossible for you to get the same deal in a month's time whereas tokens that, are, that don't have any burns in their contract where the number of cer token circulation stays the same you could buy today and even if there's volume you could still be in a bad shape a month from now because people are just dumping the supply back into the Uniswap pool, the tokens still yeah. exist. They haven't gone forever. There's no like, it's diminishing. It's like people, I don't think people understand. Pyro tokens are disappearing every second, every hour. There are every tokens, second. every, every hour there are tokens. Yeah. So it's each crazy. pyro token is, is precious. So for me, I just see tokens disappearing. Or every time I see a buy and sell, I just see my bag becoming more precious. There's tokens around it or in existence are being burnt. It's just, can you imagine you're holding on to something like, you know, something that's really precious, but everything else is like being, you know, the, uh, what I'm saying is the people that are holding it are doing a good job because they understand that the people that are selling, all they are doing is just increasing the bag and all the value of the people that are holding because tokens are constantly disappearing forever Absolutely. off the blockchain. Absolutely. And like every power matters. Like one power really does matter. It does. Um, LDA. Yeah. <laughs> LDA, do you have something to say? Yeah, uh, I have a question for him. Um, what do you see py Pyro in six months? I think it's very hard to predict that. I was in a, I'll give you a token, I mean, an example of a token that I was in, which was a rebase token, which had a, it was similar concept. They started out 21 million tokens, they had rebase cycles, but the tokens that were in existence were constantly being reduced. They, they experienced supply shock. So it started out in fractions. So you could have got the, you can look this up, you can research it. The token was called, I think it's called Only Goes Up. So they started out fractionally and eventually, so you could have got Only Goes Up tokens for something like 0 0.001, you know, at launch or a month after launch. But eventually in the third month, they had supply shock and each token was worth $160,000 um, at all time high um, because of the supply shock phenomena. The pool was constantly shrinking the elastic supply was reducing the total supply, which means the early buyers were up silly numbers, each token being worth $160,000. They hit supply shock, their chart went parabolic. It just went crazy. Um, so I, I, I can see the same sort of thing happening with Pyro, where we're going to hit supply shock because there aren't enough tokens in circulation and the price per Pyro is just going to go through the roof. So if someone said to me, you know, in six months time, does a $10,000 Pyro surprise you? My answer would be no. You know, I, you know, or even if someone said to me, would a $50,000 pyro surprise you? I would say no, because of the tokenomics. Tokens are constantly disappearing, meaning the price per pyro will continue to move up. No matter what you do, it will always continue to move up. The only way it will die is if right now a black swan event occurred, you know, Bitcoin crashed, Ethereum crashed, all the holders in pyro were like, do you know what? We're going to sell it. We're never buying pyro again. Something stupid happened. That's the only way this project could fail. But the likelihood of that ever happening is very, very small, meaning we're always going to continue to get holders. Pyro will always continue to be removed from circulation and the price will always trend upwards because the there are to the tokens are being removed from existence. You know, you might have a million. We had a million at start. We're at 600,000 now, which means a month from now, we might have 500,000. And then a month from now, another 400,000, meaning the tokens that exist at that $400,000, you know, 400,000, uh, 400,000 pyro circulation point, the cost per token could be really high, depending on how many holders we have. And we're also a very young coin. We only have 800 holders. Um, so, you know, a good coin typically has 5,000 holders, 10,000 holders. When we get to that stage, I see a very high price point. I have another question. Uh, is the dev from Pyro the same dev from the other partnerships? I see a lot of similarities 
and no. all these. Uh, the, the the contracts sometimes are um, if they need a custom contract, team is lending out a custom contract to them. So a developer. Oh, I was could, talking about the contract. Yeah. I was talking about more like the um, like websites and um, logos and stuff like that. No, no, different. So it's different teams that are. It's it's almost like the dev for Pyro is the dev for Pyro, but he is helping other teams that are approaching him and saying, "Look, we want to cut." Because the business model at the start was always that Pyro would hire the bot because we have this unique custom burn bot, and he would lend it to other teams, people that he knows that are trustworthy, and it's giving revenue to Pyro. So I always told people that in Pyro, your main coin should be Pyro. These other coins. Some of them may survive, some of them may not, some of them may do very well, but Pyro will always do what it can to help them. So, you know, it doesn't mean because Pyro has hit six million that any coin that is franchising Pyro Punbot is going to do well and is going to hit five million. That, that, you know, that's, that would be very, what's the word? It, it would be very, in this day and age when we know crypto is very volatile, it would be very um, foolhardy or I don't know, it would be very optimistic to assume that anything that has the Pyro stamp is going to also hit five six million but what pyro has said i spoke to the dev and he said look we're, this, this new coin that's coming out any ecosystem coin we're going to deliver volume so he's not going to abandon those guys that have obviously you know the coins that haven't done so well like shrimp perhaps we may you know the the new coin will deliver buybacks and burns via the new contract he doesn't have to do that but the dev has said you know we'll, we'll help them out um you know he's being he's a nice guy he wants to help all the coins in the ecosystem out he doesn't have to legally because it's other developers that are hiring the bot and the, the contractual arrangement is that 2% of the taxes from those coins comes back to Pyro. But he's being really nice and he's saying, look, he's going to help out any ecosystem coin he can help out. But legally, uh, or strictly speaking, morally, he doesn't really have to, but he's doing it because he wants to be nice and wants to help them out. So eco ecosystem, we've had a lot of people jump into Pyro saying, oh, you know, Lobster's not doing as well as Pyro. Or they might be saying, um, you know, Shrimp might not be doing as well as Pyro. I think it's kind of harsh to blame Pyro for those developers and all those team leaders not marketing as well, not leading the raids as well, because there is an element of responsibility. Um, the people in those tokens have to take a bit of ownership. Pyro has had very little paid marketing. It's the community that has taken it from 100k to 6 million. It's the community shilling, the community's raiding. So, you know, the, the guys that are in those ecosystem coins, what I would say is they need to up their shilling game, you know, really try and build a positive community to try and lift their market cap up because it's a community that makes a coin not so much a dev. I had another question, but uh, we can go ahead with somebody else for right now. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, CMRD, uh, go ahead and speak. Unmute your mic. Okay, hello. Hey. Pyro, Pyro, as I hear about the name. So, um, in simple term, what type of cryptocurrency is Pyro, and what type of problem it exactly came to solve? And uh, what can you tell us, um, as now listening to you talking about Pyro? What can you tell us out of your plans that will that you believe uh, we might consider or we would consider it to uh, get our investment in Pyro? So this is all I can say. Thank you. I think yeah, basically you're saying why should I invest in Pyro? Well, I uh, you know, on what is it? Well, it's an ERC twenty coin. It's a fast burning coin on the ERC twenty blockchain. I would say there's no token like Pyro, right? So it's one of a kind. It's unique. It's innovative. Anything that's innovative, new, and fresh, people pay attention to. And a lot of people, a lot of big whales are watching Pyro. A lot of big players in the, you know, in the crypto space have their eyes on Pyro. Everyone's watching it. They know the name. You know, the brand is established. People have got their eyes on Pyro. And it's what it's doing is new. You know, it's innovative. It's fresh. It's unique. And not only that. I would say as an investor, if someone said to me, why should I go into this coin? Well, if imagine you're buying something and you know it's diminishing, right? So a good example would be um, a resource, a natural resource that is finishing. So say you're right now, you're in South Africa, you're in the Kimberley, um, you know, the Kimberley mines or whatever. And, you know, there's in this mine, there's X number of tons of diamonds in it. But, you know, three months from now, 
that supply is gone. So what are you going to do right now? You're going to buy as much of it as possible because the supply on price per ton of diamonds in that mine is is constantly going down. It's getting less and less and less. The longer you wait, the, the less diamonds you get, basically. So that's, I don't know, that's the best way I can describe it in my head in that there's X number of diamonds, but the longer you wait, the less you can buy. Um, that, that's probably the best. Yeah, that might be a poor analogy. I don't know. But it, it's it's each pyro right now that is in existence is con you know the, the total supply is constantly going down which means you can never buy the same amount um you, you in theory you know you, you in theory you could buy the same amount but it might cost you a lot more uh, what i'm trying to say so you know to anyone that it's like on the fence at the moment just think the supply the total supply of pyro that's in existence is constantly diminishing it is yeah running out you know, right now is probably the best time to buy it because it's cheap. You know, the number of holders is low, the market cap is low. Uh, I would, I would tell anyone, you know, just buy something speculatively um, because you never know if each pyro ends up being ten thousand dollars per pyro, you're going to be laughing six months from now. And it, and it can happen. This is crypto. I've seen it happen before. I think only goes up higher was that other token that I was mentioning that was on BSC, where it went from fractional. You know, the cost basis was fractions of a BNB to $160,000 per token. Um, so, and I've seen this happen multiple times, not just once. Um, okay, crypto so, where... uh, sorry. S sorry, can you hear me? So, yeah. what I'm saying is, uh, type of problem, what type of problem do you think Pyro came to solve? You see, in uh, talk about blockchain uh, technology is, is, or blockchain for yeah. Sorry, I'm coming. You see, we normally but count problem, on. It, it is, it is a... So just to answer your question, what problem is it also serving? Well, it's it's the, the utility is being revealed on Sunday night. Um, so Pyro is also developing a custom contract that can help other projects that have supply issues. So there's you know one major contract that you know say for instance Clifford they have a supply issue. Um, another contract that has supply issues Vault. Um, so there, there are lots of big cap coins that have too much tokens in circulation. The new Pyro custom contract will be able to take any contract and start burning it at will. So on day one, it can start burning Clifford supply. You know, day two, burn another coin. Day three, it can burn another coin. So it is develop developing utility. And, and it, it, this is a custom contract that can change the token that it's burning. It will always burn Pyro. But alongside that, this custom contract will be burning any coin. So it's creating a new contract, a, another new contract that will be able to burn any coin that it wants. Any coin, any coin on the ERC20 blockchain um, that it wants, that, that needs supply reduction. So that, that's a problem that's common. A lot of coins have too much coins in circulation and Pyro will be solving that. So that's, that's the problem that it's solving. Okay, thank you very much and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. And we just got Yarn World just came in. What's going on, man? Do you have anything to say about this? What's up, everybody? I just wanted to speak to the community, man. Um, I really appreciate what everybody is doing, man. Um, I, I, I'm really here as a listener, man. Crypto Wall Street really talks very good about pyro and adam you know i appreciate you know just everything the community is doing but this contract is one of one to me like i've seen so many different hyper deflationary burn tokens and nothing is like pyro like i'm a visual learner you know i learn from um seeing things you know and i'm also a hands-on learner but when I was seeing the total supply reduce on Etherscan, that's something I haven't seen on any smart contract. And like I said, I've been a part of all of the top deflationary tokens a lot of y'all probably know about in the past year, right? But what Pyro is doing is true supply and demand. And it's like, you can see it and everything, it all came to me organically. like. The person who actually showed me Pyro is in the chat and it was on a live video and I believed in it from day one, you know, and I, I'm going to continue to, you know, just push for Pyro because I feel like it's truly innovative. Um, somebody just asked, like, what, do, what does it solve it? I feel like it finally solves the hyper deflationary 
mechanism. Like everybody been trying to figure it out, you know, through doing the original buyback burn, but I haven't seen the total supply burn work, like how Pyro is making it work. And I'm a hundred percent behind the project. Like I'm, you know, community driven with this project and you know, I just wanna I just wanna see it grow. You know, I really just wanna see it grow for the community. I feel like it's a real incentive to it's an appreciating asset. You can see the supply diminishing. Like you can visually see it on Etherscan. And like if people don't realize what they have right now, I think eventually they will see because multiple communities like Crypto Wall Street, multiple communities have been reaching out to Pyro and they see what we're doing and we really starting the movement. And I think once people realize like how rare of an opportunity it is, you know, obviously it's gonna be uh, you know, other developers they're gonna try to come tweak the contract or make a new contract of a pyro, but the original I feel like the original will always be like a statement in crypto if we really, you know, band together as a community and show people because we have a good product. That's the thing. I feel like I feel like we have a good product and all we have to do is get it to the right audience and let them be aware of what's possible in cryptocurrency because it's, it's truly blockchain technology it's it's a true burn you know it's removing the total supply every day like the supply that you saw yesterday is not the same supply today and it's going to continue to reduce when people sell we actually support the project when people buy it supports the project it, it supports the future of it it's like a instant utility you know it's nothing like promised in the future or like i know it's other utility pyro is building and partnering with is coming up but the true utility is in the burn and understanding that no other smart contract does that and i think it's gonna click for a lot of people eventually you know i'm gonna keep telling people you know uh you know just multiple live streams whatever i gotta do like to support the project because like I said, it's just it's just to me is a it's a crazy smart contract. So And and the, the other thing I should mention you on there is if you can if you can remember a max wallet at launch, right? People were selling max wallets for like of twenty four thousand pyro. They were selling it for like half an ETH. If anyone tries to buy a max wallet now, it's impossible. And it's because of the this phenomenon called the price squeeze. So if you look at Etherscan and you know, check the Uniswap pair and you try and buy as much, you know, twenty thousand tokens for instance the price that's that uniswap gives you is ridiculous and it's because of the price shock um so there are people that i spoke to that were like oh i wish i never sold my my, my, my max pyro wallet because it's impossible to get back you know right now getting ten thousand pyro is a steal you could probably get it for like 80 ethereum which for me i think is a steal because we'll get to a point where even getting ten thousand pyro will be a you know a fortune at 50 million market cap uh right now i would say is a fire sale there's plenty of pyro in that pair but um even simple things like i remember a week ago i was checking how much it cost to buy a thousand pyro and a week ago a thousand pyro was i remember it was almost an eth whereas now if yep. you check now if you check it's five ethereum to get a thousand yeah. pyro. it's crazy yeah. just yeah. a thousand pyro. And there was a guy who aped there was a guy who ate ten thousand you know was it so twenty thousand dollars just an hour ago on getting just two thousand pyro just two thousand pyro so this guy's got conviction. He 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 spent 28 Ethereum just loading up on Pyro. He doesn't care that he's only getting 2,000 Pyro. He's buying as much as he can. I don't think he'll stop. I think he sees what's happening. The fact the Pyro token circulation are going down. He can see the future value. He can see it's being burnt. You don't ape $20,000 on a whim, right? He's done his research. I, I want to find out who he is. Like if someone can find out. It'd be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he must know something. He's, he must be either someone that's big in the crypto space, understands smart contracts. You know, you don't spend twenty eight Ethereum on a um, on a on on a um, what's the, on a on a on a you know like a, a whim. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money to, right, to put into a coin. Twenty eight Ethereum into a coin. He can see the future. That's probably why he can see that the total supply going down. It's, there are true buzz in this contract. The, the value of a single pyro you know 20 days from now maybe a hundred dollars for pyro or ten dollars a pyro now but the, the price squeeze is happening right before your eyes when every buy and sell transaction tokens are being removed from circulation forever off the blockchain meaning it's gonna create this price squeeze the supply shock 
And real FOMO is going to kick in when people are like, holy shit, I can only buy 10 pyro with one ETH. Um, that's when the real FOMO kicks in. Yeah, it's going to get and down a fraction of a pyro. They're going to people be wake to... up. Certainly. Like, I just think it's like when investing in cryptocurrency, people really have to understand the tokenomics of these coins and like the tokenomic structure is set up similar to Bitcoin. It's it's so deflationary yeah. and it's going to continue to burn. And it's actually it's burning so fast. It, it's just like man, like when I think of, when I just sit and think about it, like the opportunity that's in front of us is is just crazy. So like I'm I'm just happy to be a part of all of this and just to bring be able to bring a community together on a. Uh, I feel like it's a good product, man. I, I really do feel like like Pyro is a great product, you know. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you basically stare at Ethereum. I mean, EtherScan, and you've seen that reduce, and then you've seen people sell. Every buy and sell supports the project, just like you said. So basically, it's the only project I saw when people sell, it actually supports the project. Yeah, and that and that's one of the things that they hurt projects you know when when people yeah. fail i've been a part of projects you know and i'm holding and and people would sell and you know it's no real tokenomic to support that yet some like they may have an lp tax but me personally like i i believe that burning from the total supply would impact the price more i just feel like because it's reducing the supply and if the trading volume stays there it makes the remaining supply more valuable like it's, it's so many things that i that i just see with pyro and it's like i connect the dot much and i know this project is going to survive like i just i can see it like a month from now or you know two or even if it takes three months like of pyro being one pyro one eth and it's like it, it's a reality like in my mind because of how it's structured it's structured to reduce in supply you know i feel like the community is bullish we getting so many so we getting so many other communities involved in pyro what is it gonna be like when we had two thousand holders three thousand holders because we gonna reach those points like i already see us we about to hit a thousand holders like soon so like i just i just see yeah. past the the current number of pyro how, how much it's worth and i know that it's going to become more valuable as that supplier goes down and it's going to be like you said the the price squeeze and you know that that's going to be big like it's going to be big news and even once we get to 10 million dollar market capital to get an extended lot like that's going to be bullish for the community it's just so many so many milestones coming up I know this is the one. Like that's why I'm posting every day about Pyro. I'm going hard for the community because it's a great opportunity. It's like, like it's like, I, and I'm looking at every other smart contract. Like, damn, it's not like Pyro. Like, other, I'm not, I'm not, and that's not taking away from any other project. I feel like it's still gonna be massive projects all throughout cryptocurrency. That's how cryptocurrency works. It's a, it's a yep. bunch. It's enough for every. It's literally enough for everybody. You just have to keep an abundant mind state. But mm -hmm. I think the tokenomics of Pyro is going to be dominant. It's going to change, change a lot in cryptocurrency, and it's going to make developers go back to the drawing board. Like, okay, I gotta, you know, I gotta do this now. I gotta hit them with this because Pyro is this force. It's gonna be. It's just gonna be like a known cryptocurrency, a known project. You know, throughout the space, like how we know of Satama's, like how we know of Vought, like how we know of Clifford, like how we know of Shinobi. It's just, it's going to be one of those names, like Pyro. Like they did something unique. They yep. they brought something to the table. And, it, and innovations, sometimes they don't have to be like all massive and complex. Like it, it was a small tweak, you know, a small tweak in a, in a contract, just burn from the total supply. That I feel like that makes a, all of the difference it, that that small tokenomic tweak makes all of the difference in what we call a hyper deflationary token so it's just my understanding on pyro it hit me early like i when i seen there was uh, no dev wallet no marketing wallet i already know how that stuff worked 
and all of it was going to the burn. It was a true burn. When I saw it reflecting on ether scan, I knew it was something special. I'm like, no, it's nothing like this. I'm 100% behind it. Like, and that's all I had to, that's all they really had to click for me. You know, I, and I, because I've been exposed to so many different smart contracts and the visionary projects, I've been exposed to it. So it was like coming from a place of experience, like, okay, I, I've experienced all of that. And I know this is different. And I knew, I knew from the smart contract, it was different. I looked at the total supply. The only coin I've been in that was similar to this was um, Shiba Rai. And they had 7 million, but they was doing the burn. They was doing a transcendence burn and it, it worked. It was, it was reducing the supply. It was making the price go up. It went from like 12 cent, it went all the way up to $25. Um, but they had complications with the, with the smart contract. They had to relaunch and you know, it was, it caused, re, I, I noticed relaunches, it causes like, kind of like a sentiment in the community, like, oh, I don't really, you know. A lot of fud. Wanna, yeah, like a, lo a lot of fud. It can cause a lot of fud to relaunch, but I still supported Shiba Rai and I was still behind him heavy because I knew like the smart contract was unique. I just wanted to see it. Like, I felt like if, if they never had a relaunch, it would, it would literally be on Dex Tools trending right now. Like, it would still be trending because... It's, it's kind of good for us now because they kind of fucked up. And now we have the true button mechanism. Right. And it's, it's like... Fucking it's like wild, viral. Fucking they, they, they did it <laughs> right. Like, they, that's what I was saying in so many live videos. Like, they they did it right. And it, it was so simple. Like, it's a small tweak and everything is... And it's burning from the toast spot. You can see it. Like... That's all the proof I needed uh, right there. And then I'm seeing the value of it go go up. You know, if anybody was, you know, on a ride with me from when we first found it on the live stream until now, y'all, it's just been crazy ever since. So I think the other thing that I really like about Pyro's contract is it's simple. It's so simple. It's just 6% burn on the buy, 6% true burn on the buy, 6% true burn on the sell. That's it so so simple it's just beautiful um you know no dev taxes and i think that's it's so easy for people to understand that you know a toddler can understand that concept so you know i think people are still warming up to it. I, I think that's the other selling point the simplicity of yeah. the pirate contract really sells itself it's not hard to explain to people um, six six either side um you know it's so easy to explain it's, there's scarcity Love happening it. Um, you know, even though you're, we're explaining this to people, I, I think people, as, as, as they see the supply shock happen um, when we get there. And the other thing I wanted to mention is even if we trade sideways, it's great. It's great in the short term because we're burning more pyro, right? I'm, I'm happy to stay at 6 million market cap because it means we're burning like 0.1% a day. I'm happy because it gets harder. The harder you go, um, you know, if we were at 50 million market cap, we might be burning 0.05% a day if you guys understand because there are mo more tokens now being burnt per buy and sell so if we trade sideways for the next seven days 24 days i don't care i'm happy because we're burning more tokens here in this region than we would be at 50 million market cap if you zoom out so it just means that the quicker we can get to say 40 percent the supply shock happens so there are advantages to just trading sideways in the basically by at the moment we're trading sideways between eight and nine dollars which is fantastic because for holders anyway it's fantastic for holders but you know it's great for swing traders in the short term because they can buy it seven sell at eight and a half they can buy it seven i'm i'm happy all they are doing is increasing the value of my bag because they're burning down the available supply of, of pyro tokens and it's the same thing with the ecosystem coins that are buying and burning pyro they're just removing pyro out of circulation so actually you know, a lot of people being angry. No, a lot of people. A lot of people being upset about us trading sideways in this region. But actually, long term, it's going to pay huge dividends. Yeah, yeah. What are the long term sustainable value drivers of the token Fire? Go ahead, Captain. Um, do you have any? Uh, do you have a question, Captain America? Yeah, I got a question. What are the Go ahead. What are the long-term sustainable value drivers of the token Pyro? I, I didn't quite understand your question. Did you say that the is the burn sustainable term? Yeah, long-term sustainable value. Yes, it's, drivers. It's definitely. Yeah, there's enough tokens there. We've got you know a million tokens in, this, in 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 initially, 
Um, we're at 600,000. There's enough tokens there to continue the burns forever. Um, we're not going to get to a point at like 10 million or 20 million market cap where there's no enough to, you know, there aren't enough tokens to continue the burns. No, there's enough tokens to continue the burns for many years to come. Um, and, and even then, when we get down to our last pyro, you know, which will take years, many years, you know, there's nothing to be worried about. We're not going to get down to our last pyro for a long, long time, guys. I could simulate it if you want, but it will come up with a stupid answer. Like maybe 10,000 years to get down to the last pyro. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're nowhere, we're nowhere near getting to the point of like the last 10 pyro in the, you know, that's circulating in the entire community. I'm um, just 10 pyro. And we've all like, we're all holding like fractions of the 10 pyro. Uh, you know, it's going to take a long time to get to that. Like based on Possibly the math, would, based on the math, wouldn't it? be harder to burn like as it gets harder it gets harder, it's harder it gets harder yeah it would get more difficult to yeah. burn as the market cap Absolutely. gets higher yeah but eventually in theory you would get to divergence i.e if you had enough volume over many many years in theory it might take hundreds of years but you could in theory burn down to the last pyro but it would take forever because you're just you'd have to have a hell of a lot of volume because you're burning six percent every buy and sell eventually you'd get to the point where you're down to your last pyro Right. Think about it's a subtraction effectively. What you're doing is you're saying every buy and sell, I'm removing six percent, you're subtracting from the total supply. So you would get to divergence, i.e., like a point where there's very little left in the pool. But it will take such a long time. You can simulate on like Excel if you put it up and you know, let the computer do the calcs for you. <clears throat> but you're talking decades, you know, possibly centuries. I think I have to sit down and do the numbers, but yeah, it will take a long time. Quite a bit of time. Absolutely. Do we have another question? Uh, I think CERN. CERN Adams. Yep, we hear you. Hello. Yes, he dropped off here. LDA, you have another question. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to know how many developers are in the team. We have a lead pirate. Well, we have the lead contract who wrote the pyromatic contract. There is a project manager. There is a um, there is a the, the guy who developed the burn bot, who is a separate developer himself. Um, he's also very well known. Um, the devs will be doxxed at some point so you know there will be a dev reveal at some point but you know I can't say when but he is known to some of the people on the team but at the moment he would like to remain anonymous and I think we'll respect his um, his privacy because it, it gets hard to deliver a project when your name is out there and people are harassing you day and night I kind of like it like this because it means the dev can focus on building the ecosystems and you know trying to come up with you know working on cx listings and and things like that which means he's not being distracted by community members who are hounding him for updates um you know when the dev is working in the background it's great for everyone which is what we want and he's been delivering you know you can check there's a link tree in our telegram you can see we're listed on coinbase as a tracked asset we're listed on binance as a tracked asset crypto.com you know the dev is working really hard to make things happen in the background and we're listed in so many places you'll be shocked you know nomics crypto.com Zerion, um, all these reputable platforms you can, you can see that you know even even on binance pyromatic is listed there as a trackable asset um, and we're talking to big cx's um, so dev is in the background working um, so there's i would say there's a team, team of three um, a pm um, a developer and a bot bot man and of course, you've got people like myself who are like community managers um, helping. Appreciate the answer, brother. No worries. Man, when this gets listed on an exchange, look out completely. Look out. Someone asked me, I see someone send me a DM saying that are you guys working on any exchange coming up? So yes, team has applied for. We have we are, we're talking to a listing agent. 
We've also got team members from other big coins. So we've got an advisor from the Shibnobi team as you know on board with the team as an unofficial advisor, but he's he, he's got the connection to get listed on any exchange that we want. So Pyro could list tomorrow at KuCoin. We've got the connections, uh, but we've made a decision as a project not to pursue listings until we're past 10 million market cap. Respect, respect. Also, another question came in and saying that will you be collaborating with other bigger projects in terms of not just Burns or anything else in terms of business? Yeah, so there's a lot of partnerships being had, discussions being had in the background. So, you know, it's not just the Burn Bot, but other wider partnerships. Um, you know, we're talking to a big team. Um, you know, Shibnobi is another team that we're talking to um, with respect to building a staking platform. So that's something that we're talking to them with. Um, so there may be the opportunity and or the potential to stake your Pyro in the future for more Pyro as Pyro rewards. Um, the Shibnobi team has that capability. And we're talking to them. It's not confirmed yet, but we are, you know, we're talking to big coins with respect to building further utility above and beyond what we already have. Um, so I think a staking platform will be something that's amazing. Of course, it requires capital to do that. Um, and it's something that we are looking into as a, as a team. We're not stopping at just the burns and the burn bots and people paying us taxes from higher the um, pyro burn. But we're also planning to do things like, you know, build a staking platform. But of course, those things can only happen once there's sufficient capital available at higher market caps. Makes sense. Does anybody else have any questions in the audience? This would be a good time to ask if you're on the fence. Um, Jan is here. We got Crypto Wall Street. Any questions about Burns, about the future of the project, yeah. about why they started? This would be Yo, the Adam, time to I got more of a request. Do you mind following me so I can message you? <laughs> oh, go ahead. I just followed you. Appreciate it, bro. The other thing I should mention is we're already listed on a few, um, you know, major Dex swaps. Like Dex Hound is one place we're already listed where you can buy Pyro. Coin Merge is another platform where you can buy Pyro, and you know, there's other platforms where Pyro will be available for purchase. Um, other minor, I would say, Dex places where you can buy Pyro. So the team is pursuing and you know on these smaller decks where you can buy pyro direct um, but you have to obviously apply for listing <clears throat> but the bigger listings you know like the qcoin mexi and you know it will come at higher market caps you know the team is yeah they have plans in place for that awesome crypto weeper go ahead, please hey man thank you everyone for letting me on um been a big fan of Pyro since like, like what 16 cents that's in the young world on YouTube that's how I found out about it been trying to shit like crazy ever since um only question I had was I know you guys mentioned I'm a little late so I apologize but I know you guys mentioned maybe like a week ago but there's a way that we can add liquidity to the project in the future as far as like um um some type of way as far as like liquidity pooling to add more liquidity to the project like is there any plans for that as well yeah, so the team is um, working on that at the moment. They have a number of ideas. We've had some whales ready volunteer to add liquidity, create a liquidity pool. Um, so that's one option that's on the card. Another option is to launch a separate side contract that can add liquidity manually. But the team is exploring the options. They know, you know, adding liquidity is, is something that needs to be done. Um, but they have, they are working the plan. So expect to see something with respect to this in the next couple of weeks. You know, an announcement with regard to this. All right, perfect. Just that one question I had, man. And Adam, I appreciate the follow back. All right, I appreciate that, man. Hey, no problem. Thanks for the question. And in 16 cents, your bag's got to be looking nice. Yeah, man, I'm a little healthy over here. You know what I'm saying? A little healthy over here. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I appreciate it. Diamond handy. Diamond handing since 16 cents. <laughs> Diamond handing to $100. That's I crazy. Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. 16 cents. Uh, looks like we have a, the professional barber. Go ahead and speak, sir. Hi. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Looks like he left. Um, D5, you raise your question. You raise your hand. Go ahead, sir. 
Yes. Um, so the question I'm about to ask, I know the answer to. So it's a rhetorical question, but I'm going to ask it just so Crypto Wall Street or Yahoo World can articulate on it. So since there was no ecosystem in the beginning, no sister tokens, no collaboration tokens in the beginning, was there a dead wallet in the beginning? No, um, I don't believe there was. Um, however, if somebody you know manually bought some tokens and sent it there obviously it would appear in the the fake debit wallet um so anytime somebody external of the contract executes a buy of tokens and sends it to the dead wallet that's where it goes and effectively that's what the ecosystem coins are doing um so without me pulling it up all the transactions are going through them um you know I'd, i i would have to double check and confirm that the dev may have done a manual buyback and burn i don't know i'll need to go through all the transactions and confirm that um so I, I can't answer that question immediately. But what I do know is that the majority of the pyro tokens in that burn wallet are from the ecosystem buy. So, you know, to date, I think something like 15,000 pyro has been bought by ecosystem coins or way over that, way more than that. Thank you. No worries. Thank you very much for the question there. Does anybody else have any other questions about Pyro? I know you're thinking about them. This will be the time to do it. Yeah. Um, Captain. Um, Captain America. Yeah, I have another question. Uh, go ahead. Have you, you had any partnership contact with any financial institution? Can you repeat that one more time? He said, have we had any contact from financial institutions? Okay, uh, I got it. At the moment, no. Okay. Or partnership with financial institutions, whether you mean banks or um, fintech companies, not at the moment, no. All right, thank you for the question. Does anybody have any other questions uh, about Pyro? The future of it? Um, questions that you've been dying to ask. All right. I guess, um, go, D5, go ahead. I know you want to say something. I, I was going to say, I wish big influencers were hear like uh, Jake Gagan and them so they can ask questions that I know that for sure that they have yeah I mean I, I'm sure they're paying attention to the project they're looking at it um, but you know we'll have more of these in the future so you know hopefully one of them will show up and ask questions it just takes time kind of what Juan and uh and crypto wall street was saying and you know it just takes time and it's different too you never seen this before i mean when i saw it i was like is this for real and then um i looked at it i did some research on it and i'm like this is real this is something that this space have never seen and i think it's more like i think people may be also thinking that you know it may you know rug pull or something like that but what they're missing out on is an opportunity and they may be regretting it i'm just saying but you know, it's no financial advice. Everybody's got to, you know, make their own decisions based off what they feel. So the best thing you can do is kind of like, you know, continue pushing it out there and being positive about the project. Yeah, I know we got something with Pyro. I feel like over time, all of the big influence and people, you know, that, that may seem like now they're not giving it no light. They're going to give it light. The project speaks for itself. Like I, like I said earlier, we got a good product. All we got to do is tell the audience. All we got to do is let people know what we got. And they're going to see because it works and it's visual. You can track it. It's like a lot of proof that you can prove that it's burning from the total supply and that no other project is doing that. So no other project is going and they to... can't really say it they're like oh i've seen this before i know you didn't <laughs> you, you yeah, i mean uh, defi just, um, I, I just checked the dead wallet for you um so the first transactions were from the scorcher contract um buybacks and burns and there was also a buyback and burn from um shibi um shibono 
Um, so that it did not exist at the start. So all the buyback and burns that are showing are effectively from partnerships and or ecosystem coins. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. I, yeah, I knew that it didn't exist. I just wanted to ask just so everyone else could understand why, you know, why it came later. It had to come later in order for there to be uh, ecosystem tokens and, co- you know, sister tokens. Yes. So, yeah, effectively, as soon as someone does a manual buy of Pyro and sends it to the dead wallet, it appears in that wallet. So it came much, much later, in fact, from, you know, after launch, you can see it. If you open it up and go through all the transactions and go to the very first few, you'll see that they are from ecosystem coins. And for everybody that's listening, if you really just do a have a basic understanding of supply and demand, you will become so bullish on this project. You will understand that how scarce pyro tokens will become. It's just simple understanding of um, supply and demand. Yeah, and um, like you guys said earlier about Jake um, Goggin, he actually wanted to have a discussion with Yon World. I recorded like a part of the live stream, yeah, where you invited Yon on to speak about the project because um, I'm assuming he just thinks it's another like those burn products where they send it to a dead wallet or whatever. But yeah, man, he's already open to speaking about it. I don't know if Yon wants to reach out to him so we can get him on one of these um these uh live discussions and he can actually ask all his questions that way. But yeah, he's open to talking to Yon, so I guess um maybe they can set that up. That way we can all get to, you know, um listen in and he can bring his audience in as well. Yeah, I've definitely been advocating for Pyro behind the scenes. So it's a lot coming. It's definitely a lot coming with Pyro, but I have spoke to Jake and you know. We're gonna see what I mean the, the I think the other important thing to remember is that you know, Jake isn't, he's a great influencer, of course, but he's not the mm-hmm. only influencer in the crypto space. We should also all collectively, you know, if you're a pyro holder, take a bit of responsibility, reach out to all the big influencers that you know that you're in, you know, alpha groups with, and just say, yo, you know, check out this pyro tree link. What do you think? Because um, I think the chart sells itself, and I think the tokenomics sells itself. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, you, you, people can only keep continuing to ignore Pyro for so long um, before they all have to start getting in themselves. So my, my advice to anyone that is a Pyro holder is just keep reminding those influencers what they're missing out on. Absolutely, because they're paying attention, you know, so people are paying attention. They're talking among themselves behind the scenes. So eventually keep knocking keep knocking is what i meant mm-hmm. you know, keep knocking and eventually they'll uh they'll get in themselves and i think it's worked you know we've got a lot right. of vault holders now and i think it's a simple fact of you know what yon's been doing joining their live streams and you know sh- you know talking about pyro in their live streams we had pablo last night pull up the pyro chart so you know crypto pablo big influencer in the space he looked he liked the chart so simple things like that just every time there's a big no you know big minutia getting up there and um telling them about pyro to pull up the chart and i think the name will get out there eventually um and then we'll have some of these big guys on board and then it's moon mission yeah definitely and i want to i want the community to know raiding is free promotion like all of these big influencers i don't care how big you think they are they read comments they're human just like you so you can go on their lives if you see them tweeting you know they read their replies just like how you see all of your replies so ray if you believe in a project you know just do your part as a part of the community and help spread the word like how everybody else is doing like just help spread the word you know the product is good you know we got something innovative like you should be confident in that enough to go in anybody live like this project got me doing stuff i never did for any other cryptocurrency you know, it's 100% community driven and I, I just got behind it with everything possible. Like if I got to go talk to this influencer or if right. I got to go in somebody live, I'm doing it because I, I, I see it as an opportunity in crypto. Like I see it as an innovation, a smart contract in crypto as a whole. Like all of this altcoins, these meme coins we've been dealing with is something new, new. So I'm going hard for it. And y'all should have the same confidence like just go in a chat if you see somebody what's what's the next 100x or i'm looking for these gems pyro pyro like just like b 
be unapologetic with it be confident with it and just do it you know that's how i feel 100%. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the charts speak for itself. So if they even um, talk about, well, we've seen this before, have them look at Etherscan, you know, have them look at the, the Telegram, you know, all the information that's going there. They'll see the Telegram burn bot just making things happen. They're going to see that. They're going to say, oh, there's a burn wallet. But then explain to them there's a difference between the burn wallet and the actually true burn, which it is. So. This is definitely innovating. It's definitely different for this space. No question. Does anybody have any other questions tonight, today, early, wherever you are in this world? Um, any final remarks, Crypto Wall Street, Jan? Even though we got to do this giveaway as well. Any final remarks? I think the, the only thing I would say is, um, yeah, I mean, Pyro just closing remarks is it's it's a unique contract guys just remember it's different it's not your typical boring contract it is truly special it is new there's nothing like it in ERC20 and I, when I say that I genuinely mean like mean it there is nothing like Arrow right now nothing like it in all of ERC20 that's that's a big claim to make so um, I wouldn't be saying that lightly so just I just want that to be the takeaway message for everyone there's nothing like Pyro out there at that moment Yeah, I would just say check the ether scan. It's burning off the blockchain. You can visually see it. So if you need proof, check ether scan. And we've been having some good questions, LDA. We had crypto, Reapers, and D DeFi. So we'll get back to the person that uh that won the hundred dollars worth of Pyro giveaway. And so guys, continue just pushing forward. This is a special project. I know you might have heard of it before. But just like Yon World said, just like Crypto Wall Street, it's in Etherscan. You've seen things happen, even on every buy and sell transaction. It's something happening. And that's something I ain't seen either. <laughs> I ain't seen that either. And I've been around a lot of projects as well. So thank guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to follow, you know, Yon World, Crypto Wall Street, and Pyro. Watch the videos, continue shilling, and let's do this again sometime. All right. And I'll Definitely. Let's do it again. Thank you. No Thank problem. You, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Go Pyro. Big Have Pyro.